Zotec Tech Tip. Today we are going to talk about the operation of a Tuttenauer 2540M sterilizer. Uh, M is a manual sterilizer, which means you have to manually uh, operate the valves. 2540A would be automatic, but today we're doing the M. Um, the very first thing we need to check on the sterilizer when we come up to it is to make sure that we have plenty of distilled water in our reservoir on top here. Only distilled water goes in here. Never use tap water or any other kind of water, just distilled water in there. Our uh, cover has a min and max line on here that will indicate uh, your operating water level. So the water level should be in that area. Um, I find it difficult to see the water level on here because the water doesn't leave a really obvious mark on here. So what I like to do is you look down inside here and you'll see right down, just a couple inches down from the top here, there's a cylindrical uh, valve with a little, uh, looks like a keychain ring on it. And that is uh, our safety valve. So when we put water in here, we want the water to be up just about to the bottom side of that valve. The valve sits sideways as you can see, and we want the water to be to the bottom of that. That would be a normally full water level. Again, only distilled water then we can put our cover back on. All right, so first we're going to turn our power on here. And then at that point, we would want to load our chamber with whatever it is we want to sterilize. So we unscrew this handle and rotate it to the side and our door will open. Inside you'll see our trays. The new ones come with this little tray holder thing, which allows you to remove trays when they're hot. If you don't have this, you could use a uh, oven mitt or something. Just be aware that those tend to be very warm. So at that point, you would put your, uh, whatever it is you want to sterilize into there on the tray. Uh, always recommending that when you put stuff in there, don't pack them tightly. Pack the tightly packed uh, items in the sterilizer don't sterilize well. You want the steam to be able to surround and get to all sides of, the ster of whatever it is that you're sterilizing to get good sterilization. So make sure you don't pack it full or stack them on top of each other too tightly. All right, so we get our uh, items loaded in there. At that point, we filled our water. The first thing we're going to do is go to the very bottom knob here, which is our function valve and uh, switch. So this will then, this only turns in a clockwise direction. So the first when you first start out, it should be at like the 12 o'clock straight up position. We rotate it 90 degrees clockwise to the fill water selection. At that point, water from a reservoir will start to run down through the internal valves and piping and into the chamber here. It'll run up into here. We have to stick around here for a minute, watch for the water to fill, because as it fills, it will start to come up the bottom of this chamber and right inside here, you'll see this indentation that's maybe two and a half, three inches long. When the water creeps up and gets into that, to that level, at that point, you will want to rotate your function knob one more knot, one more quarter turn in the clockwise direction to sterilize. At that point, the water will stop running into your chamber. If you leave it in the fill position and you walk away or aren't paying attention, all your water from the reservoir will run through your chamber and out onto the floor. So always make sure you stand by for that. You don't want to flood, flood the area. So when we're in the sterilized position, we can then, we've already loaded whatever it is we want to sterilize. We close the door, we rotate our handle back into the forward position. And then we want to just snug this. We don't want to crank it down super hard. It doesn't need to be. If it's got a good door gasket on it, just a snug turn on that is all you need on it. Just snug it up. At that point, we want to decide what our temperature that we want to sterilize our instruments or whatever it is that we happen to be sterilizing at. And that you would have to reference whatever your policy is for your, for your uh, facility to see what it is that you normally sterilize whatever it is you're sterilizing at. Typically, you'll be between 250 and 270 Fahrenheit or 121 and 132 Celsius, somewhere in there. And you can turn the second knob from the bottom, this is your temperature knob, to the point where you want it to be. So let's say we want to go 250, 
we go like a straight up 12 o'clock position where it says 250 that would be the temperature that you'd sterilize if you wanted to go up obviously you turn it clockwise as you want a higher temperature also you would also have to resort to whatever it is your facility uses for the time for the sterilization once you have your temperature this top knob here is our timer and we can turn that to whatever time we want say 20 30 minutes we'll set it for 30 minutes at that point we have set our temperature we set our timer the heater will start it'll start to heat up and it will heat up whatever it is that you have um, in there to be sterilized our gauge here will start to increase there's a little knob in the center of this gauge if you turn it counterclockwise till the red pointer is right on top of the white pointer what happens is as that white pointer goes up with temperature it pushes the red point pointer with it then when you're done and the temperature drops the red the white pointer will drop back down but the red pointer will stay at your maximum temperature that you're at but you always need to reset this down to zero if you want to use that function all right so now we run this let's let the thing run let's say it ran for its time was all that we required it'll come down it'll get to zero you'll hear a ding at that point we need to go back to our function valve down at the bottom here and we're going to turn it one more turn one more quarter of a turn in the clockwise direction to the exhaust dry position at that position you would uh you'll hear the steam and pressure and residual water that's in the chamber pushing back up into the uh into the reservoir here it'll give you a little little bit of a rumble that's normal if you need to dry your instruments once you get this pressure on your gate gets back down to zero at that point you can open your door by turning this in the counterclockwise direction unscrew it tip it to the side and open the door always be aware that there may be a little bit of residual steam coming out the top of this so make sure you don't you don't get burned just keep your arms or hands away from the top you can open the door at that point if you want to dry you leave this in this position and you can reset your timer for say 10 minutes you want a 10 minutes of dry cycle or if you don't want a dry cycle we can just skip this whole stretch but set it for 10 minutes when the time's done at that point when you're all finished whether you want a dry cycle or a dry cycle or not when you're done drying you will turn again one more quarter turn clockwise to the 9 12 o'clock position here where there's a zero that turns the power off it will shut off the heat to your sterilizer at that point you can open your door and if you want to you can remove your instruments and you're ready to go at that point you can just leave it in this position if you're not going to use the unit for some time it's not going to be used again you can flip this switch back off if you think it's going to be used again shortly you can leave that on and then just repeat the whole function of loading checking your water loading turning your function to the fill once it's full you close your door turn it again to the sterilized position set your temperature and time once it's done you turn it to the exhaust the pressure will push back up in you can open your door you can decide if you want a dry cycle or not by either hitting the timer for a dry cycle or skipping that step and at that point you can just rotate this function knob back up to the zero position that basically shuts off the functions and you can open your door and remove your items that you have sterilized so that's basically the function of this sterilizer and um, i hope it was helpful i hope you can tune in again for another zotech tech tip thank you